guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Banana Boy, and today we're going to be looking at the two new super troops that the update brings us. But before we do that, we're going to watch this live time all league attack that's going. No we're not, it's too low level. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so, as I'm sure you know, there's two new super troops, the Super Wizard and the Ice Hound, which is a Super Lava Hound. Um, so, first of all, we're going to be doing the, um, looking at the Super Wizard. So, we're going to be looking at the difference between the Super Wizard and the Electro Dragon. So, basically, um, the Super Wizard, um, its targets depend on its initial targets, because it can hit more than one building in time, that's its ability, and the Electro Dragon can do that as well, and they can both, they both do chain damage, but the difference is, an Electro Dragon could hit all these buildings in our line here, because it goes one building, two building, three building, it just it, its target compares on, on, on the building for it. But with the Super Wizard, its target um, depends on its first target. So the Electro Dragon would be better suited for this because it would chain go along. But if you put the Super Wizard here, it just hit this one and this one because it can only hit um, its initial target and then it spreads out to um, all the. So they can't be more than one tile away, as you see here. They'd be able to hit through that, but you, they would not be able to hit through this. Um, yeah, so the Super Wizard would be better for taking out these kind of corners. You know, you find these corners in base uh, to try and destroy funneling. Uh, yeah, Super Wizard would be very good for taking out that. And also, there's also uh, a strategy now at Tunnel 13 where you get a Battle Blimp. Um, you send it into the center of the base with, a super wiz with, with four Super Wizards in it. Um, a rage spell and a couple of invisibility spells, and it will take down big artillery, scatter shots, expos, inferno towers, maybe even the town hall. It just depends on where you get them. You have to get the battle one there. If it doesn't get there, then it then it will completely fail. Um. Okay, and what we've also got some uh, footage of the super wizard and the super lava hound, but I will show you later. Um. So now we'll be looking at the super lava hound. So if we go on here and we remove all that. Um, the Super Lava Hound is just like the Lava Hound in the way it goes for air defences. So, um, the difference is, it's basically like a much more tanky Ice Golem. So, when the when the Super Lava Hound dies, it explodes into a giant free spell like the um, Ice Golem. And completely freezes the air defence. It's much bigger and uh, lasts much longer than a normal free spell. Um, also... When it attacks, it slows down the defense as well, um, and it is, it, it has, does have more health than the normal Lava Hound, so it's, um, it, I, I think there's going to be a new air meta, I think, I think it'll even be a new attack strategy, um, I think, I think you, you'll actually be able to classify the new attack strategy, I, Ice Loon instead of Lava Loon, um, so, yeah, that's the, that's the Ice Hound. We'll be back in a minute, guys, after I've shown you this footage. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I'm back, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the booster chase you saw. Um, you can see that it was super lava hounded and the super wizard chain damage. Because as you saw, I can take, it can take down heroes and the hero pedestal at the same time. That probably won't be coming very handy, but it's still quite cool. But what I really want to show you now um, was the new Christmas tree, 2020 Christmas tree. Uh, it's right here, very beautiful. Let's turn up the sound so you can hear what it sounds like. There you go, that's what it sounds like. It costs 25,000 gold to remove. I'm not going to remove it. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you do remove it, it gives you some elixir. So if you're in desperate need of some elixir, just remove it. I wouldn't recommend it though. It's definitely not the best way to get elixir. So that's all I've written. The only other thing I really want to show you. So thank you guys. Also, hang on up. Um, I hope you like the Christmas music in this video and my previous video as well. There you go.